Hey everyone, welcome back to the Thinkorswim tutorial series. In today's video, we'll learn how to create a trailing stop on the Thinkorswim mobile app. We're going to go through it both on an open position you already hold in the account, as well as part of an opening trade. We're also going to touch on how to customize the order ticket to make it a dollar offset, a percentage offset, or a tick offset. And I'll be sure to go through it for both options and stock, even though it's the exact same process either way, just to make sure you're comfortable with it. Now jumping right into it, you can see I'm currently on my positions page, and you can see all of the positions I currently hold, both stock and options. Starting with positions I already have in the account, let's say I wanted to put a trailing stop order on American Airlines. Up at the top there, you can see I currently have 100 shares, I own it at $27 a share, and it's currently $19.09. If I wanted to put a trailing stop on American Airlines, all I would have to do is click on the little check mark box to the left of it. From there, a little menu pops up, and all we have to do is click Close Selected. Once you click on that, it's going to bring up an order ticket to close out our shares of American Airlines. All we have to do with this is change the order type from a limit order to a trailing stop. So go ahead and start clicking on that little arrow to the right of limit until we hit trailing stop. There we go. Make sure you want to sell the entire quantity because right now I am selling the entire 100 share lot that I currently have in the account. And it currently shows as a 10 cent offset. Now I can tell it's 10 cents because it says plus or minus, which currently means it's set in dollars and cents. If I were to change this number from negative 10 cents to, let's say, negative a dollar and hit done, this trailing stop is now trailing the underlying stock price of American Airlines by one entire dollar. Meaning if American Airlines ever falls a dollar from its current price, I would get stopped out of it. However, as American Airlines goes up, and hopefully it does go up, my trailing stop is moving up along with it. So let's say American Airlines goes from 1911 where it currently is and goes up to $20.11. My trailing stop would then move from 1811 up to 1911, always following the underlying stock price by an entire dollar. Now, if American Airlines ever drops a dollar, a market order would go out there to sell my 100 shares of stock. Now, I could also make this order ticket good until canceled if I wanted to, so if it doesn't fill today, it'll try again tomorrow. Doesn't fill tomorrow, it'll try again the next day, and the next day, and so on. Now, hopefully this order never fills. I'd love for American Airlines to go up to $1,000 a share and never come back down a dollar, but that's not gonna happen. So what I'm saying is, if American Airlines ever drops a dollar, get me out of it. Now, I could also set this to ticks or percentages. Now, ticks doesn't make sense in this case. That would typically be for a futures contract. But all I would have to do to change it to a tick amount is click on that little plus or minus right there. From there, I could either make it a percent or a tick increment, which looks like a little stair step icon. But since we're probably not going to use that unless you trade futures contracts, we're going to go to the percentage amount. Now that I've got the percentage icon in there, what I'm saying is if American Airlines ever goes down 1%, go ahead and stop me out of this. If I wanted to give myself a little bit more wiggle room, I'll go ahead and change this to 25%. I'm now saying if American Airlines goes down 25%, get me out of this position. And that's it. That's all there is to it. All I have to do is create a closing order, switch it to a trailing stop, and put in the either dollar offset or percentage offset that I want to get stopped out at. All I'd have to do from here is go ahead and hit review in the upper right hand corner. From there, I'm going to make sure everything looks right. The order ticket says I'm about to sell 100 shares of American Airlines with a 25% trailing stop. If I actually wanted to do this, I would simply hit send in the upper right hand corner. Now since I don't want to do this, we'll go ahead and edit it and cancel out of this. Now next up, if I was to do this on an options contract, it would be done the exact same way. Let's say I wanted to get stopped out of the Alcoa options I have. All I have to do is go ahead and click on that to open it up. And you can currently see I am short three of the $42 puts on Alcoa. Now this is a short position, but it would be done the exact same way if you were long the contracts. All I would have to do is click on the little check mark box to the left of it. From there, I'm gonna say close selected. Just like before, it brings up an order ticket to close out of this position. Now, because I was short the options contracts, to close them out, I would have to buy them back. So in this case, I would change it from a limit order to a trailing stop, just like before. And I could put in the either percentage or dollar offset down below. Now, if you're trading long options, it would look more like this if I switch it from buy to sell, but it's gonna be the exact same setup. You've got a trailing stop to get you out of your contracts if it ever falls by this amount. Now, that was a part of an opening trade or doing it on a position you already hold. Let's go ahead and cancel out of this and let's do it on a trade you don't yet hold in the account. The first one we'll do is on stock. So let's go to the watch list page. We'll pull up AMD. So let's first say I wanted to buy some shares of AMD, and I wanted to buy 10 shares of it at its current price, 156.42. If this order were to fill and I was actually able to buy these 10 shares of AMD, I immediately want a 20% trailing stop to go out behind it. So what I'm going to do is scroll down to the bottom, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Create an Advance Order. From there, the Advance Order group pops up, and you can see my opening trade up there at the top to buy 10 shares of AMD. 
And what I'm gonna do next is actually click on add an order. Now you can see there I've got a new order ticket, but this one's not gonna go out there until the opening order fills. Now I do need to tailor it because currently it says I wanna sell those 10 shares of AMD at a limit price. Remember, I didn't want this to be a limit order. I wanted it to be a trailing stop. So what I'm gonna do in this case is go ahead and click on that order. Just like in the previous example, I'm gonna change this from a limit order to a trailing stop. We'll go ahead and flip that over. And I said I wanted it to be a 20% trailing stop. So we need to change it from a dollar offset to a percentage offset. Next, I need to change this from negative 0.1% to negative 20%. And I'm also gonna change this from a day order to good until canceled. Everything looks good, so I'm gonna go back to the group. I'm just gonna double check everything looks right. I'm about to buy 10 shares of AMD at the current price. If that order fills, I'm gonna put out a trailing stop 20% below. If I was happy with that, I would simply click review in the upper right hand corner, and I would just double check my order ticket. It still says exactly what I wanna do, so if I actually wanted to place this, I would simply hit send in the upper right hand corner. Now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and do it on an options contract. So we'll go ahead and edit out of this and cancel it and hit cancel one more time. I'm now back to the AMD stock profile page, but I wanna go ahead and look down below and let's find an options contract. In this example, we'll use the 17 December expiration and let's go ahead and scroll down to the money. And let's say we wanted to buy the 165 call options. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the ask of the 165s, which is $4.95 at the moment. You can see up in the upper left hand corner, it builds out my order ticket to buy one of the 165 calls. All I have to do next is go ahead and hit the next button and it brings me to an order ticket. Now in this example, let's say I didn't wanna buy this contract unless it was trading for 450 or better. So we'll go ahead and change that. And if this order ever filled, I wanted to get stopped out if it ever went down 15%. So now I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down to the bottom again and create an advanced order just like before. You're gonna see the exact same page we just saw before, except now it's an options contract up there at the top. I'm then gonna click add an order because we need to add our trailing stop to this. It's still defaulted to a limit order, so we're gonna go ahead and click on that to change it. And just like before, we're gonna change this from a limit order to a trailing stop, and we set a 15% offset. So we're gonna go ahead and change this to a percentage amount, and we'll go ahead and put in negative 15 right here. I'm happy with that, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. I'm also gonna make this good until canceled, so we'll go ahead and flip that over. And now that I'm happy with that, we'll go back to the group. Everything looks right, so we'll go ahead and hit review in the upper right hand corner. And now we can just read it off to make sure everything looks right. I wanna buy one AMD 17 December 165 call at $4.50 or better. If that order fills, I wanna put out an order to sell that same exact contract with a 15% trailing stop. Again, if I wanted to send this, I would simply hit send in the upper right hand corner. And as you saw, it's exactly the same for both options and stock. There's really no difference. And that really is about everything you could possibly need to know about creating a trailing stop in here. If you guys do have any additional questions for me, please leave them down below in the comments. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your week and I'll see y'all in the next video.